I did a video a while back about how to get a dual boot installation easily of Ubuntu and today I'm going to be showing you a way of having Ubuntu or any other Linux distribution for that matter on your desktop for free without having to dual boot or get rid of your Windows machine or anything like that you can have it as a window like this that you can use on your Windows desktop without leaving any of your files behind and it's safe, free and easy you've probably heard about it, it's called a virtual machine or virtual appliance now what you'll need to do is head onto the net and go to vmware.com you can go to the exact URL slash product slash player or you can navigate it on the site it'll be there you can download that, it will ask you a few questions, you have to sign up for email updates but you can opt out of that if you really want to but you still have to sign up but it's, it's not really a sign up, it's more of a survey, they just want to know what you're going to use it for and stuff but that only takes five minutes so once you've downloaded that you have the program VMware Player and from this you don't even have to download any ISOs, you can download appliances so I'm just you can download straight from the thing and it will take you to this to this which is vmware.com slash appliances now this is where you can download all of the things for your VMware Play, you, do, you don't even have to use operating systems you can have all sorts of different things that you can use it for but I'm going to be focusing on Linux today so it's actually down here it's got the latest version 9.04 I'm going to download the one with VMware tools because that makes it easier to handle when it's actually built into VMware player so I'm going to download Ubuntu 9.04 desktop with VMware tools so just click on this one there's going to be obviously as the new operating systems come out they get updated and put on here obviously because Ubuntu 10 point whatever it's at at the moment I haven't been keeping track but whatever the latest one is it hasn't actually come on here yet because it's only in beta stage or alpha maybe I'm not sure but it's not on here yet because it's not a full version yet so it gives you an overview, text specs, resources all of that sort of stuff just click on download and download the virtual appliance it will take you to the uploading site and you can download it from here so I've got the desktop one here which is it shows you all of the different versions it goes right back to 7 point one zero all sorts so I'm going to down the latest version which is 9.04 desktop which is the one you want you want the desktop edition unless you're using it as a server which I very much doubt it when you're using it in a VMware player so I'm going to download it now you have to download it by BitTorrent so it will take a while and it does upload but it stops when you close the client or browser that you're using to download it by BitTorrent. You have to open it, if you save it then it, do, it only saves the torrent file not the actual file. The file is about 1.1 gigabytes so it will take a while to download, you can see mine is 40 minutes roughly. So I'll be back then to carry on the video. So once you might need to extract the file because it comes as a .zip or a .rar if you use WinRAR so I'm just extracting that from the archive so I'll catch up with you in a minute right I'm back so once you've finished extracting it go to VMware player and simply click open you will find in the destination you set it to the virtual machine configuration appliance you need to open this if you've done something wrong it will come up with an error message sometimes before you log in you won't have the chance to actually configure your own username and password so you have to log in using the ones provided first to find these there's usually some form of info inside the folder that was downloaded my one here says user 
and I'm just going to paste the password. Which I can't do. <laughs> So now it's booting me in to Ubuntu 9.04. And it really is that easy. You can see now. You can see now it's already loaded my my Linux desktop. You see I've got all the programs. I can customize it, I can, you know, I can do absolutely anything. It's a full installation. You can obviously change your username and password by preferences in the system bar. So there we have it, a fully functional Linux desktop without leaving Windows. Thanks for watching.